Today's tutorial is going to be hopefully answering a question from a viewer named Leon Lim 2008 asking if we can do Terminator 2 uh, T1000 type effects in Blender and that's uh, making like a liquid metal type humanoid and uh, there's three aspects of that and I'm going to do three different videos and in this video we're going to go over the basics of making uh, a man that looks like he's made out of a liquid metal. The hardest part of this is creating a, a the model of the humanoid. So I'm just going to go to a website, 3D artist three D I'm uh, sorry, artist three D dot com, and I'm going to download a free model they have. It's a three DS file. Once it's downloaded, I can go into Blender. I can go File, Import, and I'll choose three D Studio three DS file. I'll go to my desktop where I have now saved that file and choose it, Import and OK. Once it's imported, in this case, it's a little small, so I'm going to hit S to scale it up and make him a little bit larger. And I'm going to move my camera up a little bit so he's in view. And then I'll add a plane like so. And the reason I'm adding the plane, I'm going to add a material to the plane. And the issue here is in this case, this model is broken up into different body parts or different meshes. And um, they each have their own material. And we want to get them all the same material, so I'm going to hit a and then B to select our humanoid here and then make sure you get every part of him I think I'm missing a few parts there I'm gonna move the ground down a little bit just so I can easily select him A to deselect B to select in a box mode so I've got him selected and then I will hit shift and select the ground so the ground is the last thing I've selected and then if we hit control L we can link materials I'll link the material so now they all have the same material as the ground and at this point I'm going to delete the ground we'll bring it back later but we don't need it right now At this point if we hit F12 we can see our model a few things we want to change um, one the lighting is kinda of off so he's kinda of dark and two he's kinda of blocky looking we'll fix that one we'll move the light two we'll grab our model here Oh we have to make it all one model. I made the materials all the same in all the model. We'll hit A to deselect, B to select, select our model, and we'll hit Control J, and we will join selected meshes. There we go. Now he's all one, and we can go down to our uh, object window, which is F7. No, I'm sorry, we're gonna go to our edit window, which is F9, and hit set smooth. Now if we hit F12, we've got a nice looking man here, lighting good, and he's smooth, but he's not metallic looking. Now, uh, there's a few different ways we can do this and make them metallic depending on your settings. Now, if you have a full environment, a full scene you've created, you can change his material, add rain mirror, move that up, and uh, get yourself kind of a mirror looking object here. But uh, in my case here, I don't really have anything for it to reflect. Uh, if I do that, I'll hit F12 to show you what it looks like. Uh, he, he is very liquid looking, but he's reflecting all blue because my background is blue. And that's a good way to go, like I said, once you have a scene. But if you don't have a scene and you want to get kind of a reflective look to it that's a little bit more than just that blue, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to remove Ray Mirror, and we're actually going to add a texture to him. Add New, we'll say Image, and then we'll load an image. I am just going to go to my Photo pictures folder and I'm just gonna grab a random fold fit picture and oh it's my wife at a uh, Linux conference that's great and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the material button window and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here and for mapping input I'm gonna choose this reflection and what that does is it makes that texture on that character but does it as though it was reflecting that image so there it is. Uh, that, that's kind of a darker image. I probably should have picked something a little bit lighter, just depending on the situation. Um, let me try to pick another one. Let's go online and try to pick one. I'm just going to go and I'm going to say skyline here. And I'll say images. There we go. We'll grab this here. And we will save this image. Save image as. I'll put it in my temp folder. It's called Chicago Skyline. We'll remember that. We'll go back into Blender and we'll go back to our textures here and we'll change it. And Blender does not always refresh the folders right away, so you might have to. Uh, oh, I still have to go into the other folder anyway. But if you're already in the temp folder, that may have not shown up uh, until you 
go out of that folder and come back in. But here we go, Chicago Skyline. I'll select that image. I'll hit F12. And there we go. It's got that city image reflected on him. At this point, you can add movement to the camera. I'll hit I to lock a keyframe there. I'll go to the last frame. I'll grab this camera. I'll move it down. I'll rotate it around. Point it up so it's not at his crotch. And I'll hit I to send another keyframe. We can hit Alt A at this time to see our animation. Pretty good right there. And I'm going to render that out and I'll put a link to the final rendering uh, in this video. So, <clears throat> hope you uh, got what I did. Uh, if next two tutorials, we're going to do something uh, like when he melts and he's all beaded up and the beads are moving around. We're going to use some meta objects on that. Uh, and then we actually might do where he is in human form and then actually goes to a melted liquid state. So those are two other tutorials I'll go over, uh, simple stuff. Um, but I hope you found this useful and I hope you uh, keep watching my tutorials and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.